Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Level M Diecast is the place. This is episode 10, Diecast Hall. This one is uh, pretty Hot Wheels heavy. Um, we haven't had a just like stupid Hot Wheels heavy haul for a little bit, but unfortunately this one will be there. However, I have tons of other stuff, but we'll get right into it. This is the newest, um, you know, themed licensed release of monster trucks. Uh, these typically are found at, you know, not your typical Walmart Target type deal. I did pick these up at Kroger. I was probably shocked to see that this new mix was there. We literally just uh, picked up the previous mix, not, you know, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, this is the other models in the mix. I could tell you this mix is not that great, but we did pick up the entire mix. So we'll crack open this guy. This is the Twin Mill. It is in B&M Shifters. It is in red, white, and blue, which is pretty cool. Get him out of there. Oop. There is your B&M Shifters. Looks pretty good. This is just uh, painted on windscreen because the whole casting is metal. There's no glass insert in there or anything like that. does have some red foil print on the blue wheels. Looks pretty good. So, again, just another monster truck. Put this guy way in the back there. Number two, this is Bilstein. Uh, this is the Midwest Madness. It's basically the Ford pickup. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I do like this one. The red ring on it kind of looks a little, little off, but uh, it's still a pretty good model. I like the Midwest Madness. It's like a, it's like a 79 F100, I think, or something like that, Ford pickup. Uh, this guy looks... Pretty good. Good high quality prints as always on all of these. Bilstein on the back does have a white. Um, I guess it looked like there was some white in there, but uh, just yellow. Oh, I see. That's where the post comes down to attach it to the base. This guy looks pretty good, though. I'm getting kind of into the monster trucks a little bit more and more these days. Hopefully he doesn't fall off the back of the uh, studio there. Uh, number three, this is the PPG uh, Dairy Delivery, number 22 has on there. This one looks pretty cool, kind of decoed up like there's paint flying off of it. This one just has white wheels, looks pretty good. Does have that magenta colored uh, cage in there, which is actually pretty nice. PPG on the back, just kind of all that draining paint looking deal on it. Looks pretty good on the top as well. Front, front tampos look good. It's a pretty good one. Throw them in the back. Uh, this one will be probably the most popular. Uh, not even pop, probably. This will be the most popular one. For one, it's Brembo. Uh, for two, it's black and, and red, which looks super good. Uh, but obviously, this is the drag bus. So number uh, five of five. I got these backwards, so we'll do four next. I do apologize. Uh, this one does look pretty good. Uh, this is actually the one that was on the front of the pegs that caught my eye. And I was like, oh, i never seen that one before. Hold on, let me look at this. And I realized that it was a, a new release of these licensed ones. Uh, this one looks really good with the red stripe on the tires because it all matches. Black cage in there, of course, it doesn't open up, doesn't do what the drag bus does. But full tampos looks pretty good. Does say Brembo on the top. Red wing off the back. It's pretty nice. Looks pretty good. That one's kind of... Kind of sinister looking a little bit. Just a little bit. This one kind of follows the same deco style. This is Black Widow exhaust on the uh, Podium Crusher, I believe is what this one is called. Um, this one looks pretty good. Red, white, and black. Just like the Brembo was. So kind of, kind of redundant, I guess you could say, a little bit. Um, this one looks pretty good, though. I like the hood decal on there. Looks good. Got that Black Widow print on the top. That's pretty nice. The King of Sound, it says. Black Widow exhaust looks pretty cool. This one actually is pretty cool. Now that I haven't had the package, it's even cooler. Uh, just chrome uh, print on the ring. Just perfect amount of contrast to it. Looks pretty good. In case you guys ever wonder why they do this, so that you can turn it. It's like a self-turning thing. Just in case ever, anybody's ever questioned that. Uh, I do have... Two more monster trucks because, yes, monster trucks do color shift now. 
Uh, and this is exactly how you're more than likely going to find them at Walmart because uh, this is how they were packaged in the shipper. So if you're looking for mint cards on these, um, good luck. Uh, but this one is the Bone Shaker in white. does change to a black color when you get it uh, wet. Uh, we're not going to get that wet because it's not going to bring no uh, moisture into the you know, studio here. But picked it up because it is the Bone Crusher. looks pretty good. Just a new version. Definitely something I didn't have. These... It's kind of interesting they do in uh, color shifters on the monster trucks, but I think that it's a uh, it's a worthy shot. There's only like uh, four or five models, and the other ones are not not all that great, uh, at least not in my opinion. Uh, this other one I picked up. This is the oop, throwing it everywhere. Uh, this is the Roger Dodger in green and black. Uh, when you get it decoed up, I'm sorry, colored up, it does turn to a dark color. Reveal a number on the side. Looks pretty cool. Yellow wheels. Pop this guy open. That one looks pretty good. I always like the Roger Dodger. Of course, it's you know it's a Challenger, Dixie Challenger. So always try to pick those up. Does look pretty good. You can kind of see the number on the side there. That'll show up once it gets colored up. So we'll put him over here and just keep those in the back. Uh, picked up a couple of super rigs. Uh, these are just decos I didn't have. These are probably re-released colors. This is the current mix that is hitting the stores. Bank Roller, Hot Wheels Park and Play, the Scenic Route in its second color, the Rat Rig in its second color, the Fossil Freight is a re-release, and of course the Tuned Up is a re-release. Um, I do believe both of these guys are re-released. However, I just didn't have these ones because um, these decos have not been out for a little bit does come with the bank clip or whatever it does go up you can clip your money in there looks decent it's got pretty good print on it because it's got that nice um you know inkjet printing on it and of course this is the truck kind of all armored up uh this is all metal all the you know, kind of brownish gold you see that's all metal uh but the entire rest of the entire thing is plastic even the trailer both parts um even the base here is plastic put the truck or your little bank roller vehicle in there looks like a safe of course, it does pop off just like it should for a truck. Nothing fancy. Just another truck. Hobbles Park and Play. This one's got a extreme gimmick to it. Um, you put your phone in there, but uh, it only holds like certain phones. So you're supposed to put it in there and it creates like an echo effect and comes out here. And it's supposed to amplify it, but it's, it's totally a gimmick, 100%. Uh, and this is just supposed to be kind of futuristic looking, maybe like a... IR scanner or something like that. It's pretty stiff on the turning. There's a little bit of metal back here, a little bit of metal on the base, but everything else is plastic, which is just ridiculous. It comes with this guy with all the boomboxing stuff in the back. Uh, it's called Baseline Metal Base Plastic Body. Just kind of sits on there like that. Nothing fancy. We're going to keep the truck theme going because, yes, I did get a couple of Matchbox. Uh, this is the big movers. This was their, you know, convoy line, you know, back afterwards. Uh, this is the decos for the current mix on here, Coca-Cola mix. McDonald's, Kellogg, Coca-Cola, McDonald's bus, and then a Coca-Cola bus, which is, of course, the one we picked up here. This is the MCI coach. It's pretty interesting. They have um, plastic taped on the inside here with little pieces of foam to keep the uh, model from rubbing. So I'm very happy with that. They did a pretty good job. Pretty, pretty nice. I actually don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, but this is the MCI Coach. This thing has been around forever. Copyright 1999. There it is on the boat. They still use this coach to this day. Um, it is the Disney Parks and Resorts Coach. Um, they release one every year. So this thing is, everything you see that's red is metal. It is extremely heavy. Um, I have actually drilled one of these apart. Um, there is an interior in here, but it only goes two right there. And then the back of this is all hollow. Uh, but it is all metal. It is a pretty heavy, pretty heavy model. And it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks really good with premium wheels on it. Not so good with these uh, utility wheels on it. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll kind of put him on the side here. I got this guy too. Super Mario 64. Um, I have the Nintendo one. Uh, but I did not have... I have the Nintendo 64 one. But I didn't have the... Actually, it's just regular Nintendo. It's red, uh, but I didn't have Super Mario 64. Uh, this is the rest of the mix that's in this particular set. Um, I basically don't have anything back there because I 
I haven't been collecting convoys, but I have decided to start picking them up as I find them. So I think I have the action system one, but I don't have anything else in here. So you'll notice this N64 one is not even on the back here. So these were okay. I mean, some of these decos were not that great. Um, I don't know why all the convoy stuff always has to be like food and stuff. I wish they could do other stuff. Uh, this is the Kenworth cab over. Uh, this cask has been around for forever. Um, I just realized that there's no interior. This guy has zero interior in there. Uh, this model does come with an interior, but just this one didn't get one, I guess. Pretty sure it has an interior, and I'll have to go back and look. But it does have the nice chrome details on the back. And, of course, there is your Mario, Super Mario 64. And then, of course, the back door is open. There's nothing in there. Still looks pretty good. They use this trailer forever. 1981 was their original use of that particular trailer. So there's that truck put in there. Rolling with the truck theme. Yes, look at that. Majorette. Old school Majorette, actually. Uh, this is the 300 series uh, shuttle transporter. This is the um, old version of the shuttle deco they did. Um, they did this on the 600 series for the shuttle launcher. Um, and then they switched to the NASA. This one never did get the NASA deco. They kept it to Space 3000, which is fine. Has a little, little button in the back here. It doesn't work with a crap. It's supposed to help you get the blister open. But if you'd use it, it doesn't work worth a jump. Look how long it took me to open that blister. Look at that. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Uh, this is your shuttle transport truck. It does come off the back here. This is your shuttle transport. It is all plastic. Looks pretty decent. I think the wings come out. Um, pretty sure the wings come out. I'm just trying to figure out how they do it. Maybe they don't. Could have swore they came out. Been a long time since I've had one of these. So, uh, But just stickers on it. Just stickers all the way around. This is the transport with the clip there, which is pretty universal for old school Majorette. They had a lot of that stuff. Uh, this guy is printed up, though. It's a very interesting design for a truck. Uh, interesting that it's partially metal, partially plastic on the base as well. Kind of interesting. says it's a 1 100th scale. So I don't know if there's an actual transporter out there that looks like this. But if there is, I've never seen it. Clicking back on there. There you go. Got to be pretty careful because there was some pretty, pretty crappy plastic back in the day uh, with some of that stuff. All right, we're going to move on to a whole crap ton of Hot Wheels. Uh, just ridiculous levels of Hot Wheels. Now, I've been working on filling up a lot of gaps um, in certain castings I collect. And one of the castings that I collect, I did not have these three particular uh, drift cars, the Challenger drift cars. So these are recolors of each other. Then this is a completely separate one. This is uh, 2017. And then this one right here is 2013, so this one's way back in the day. This is Hot Wheels Off-Road. We'll just roll through a lot of these. There's nothing fancy about them. This one looks pretty good, though. It's all plastered up with Mopar. Love that. Different color uh, wheels, uh, different color you know, lip on the wheels. Uh, this one in purple does say 426 on it for a 426 Mopar, 426 Hemi says what does it say on the back there oh next entire so this one's okay it's kind of a metallic purple looks pretty cool not kind of not really feeling that one uh but it's one that i didn't have and then this one's pretty like plain jane in comparatively um just red kind of a metallic red with some white print looks pretty good doesn't have that next entire on the top though a little different a little something different what else we got rolling on here? Uh, old school Viper from 2012. I just didn't have this particular deco for this casting. So just rolling through in green. Not, not a very good deco at all. Purple on the wheels. So again, just, you know, closing up some gaps. You know, these are just stuff I get for a buck. I don't spend more than that. Uh, another one that I didn't have, I didn't have the uh, GT Race in red for EcoBoost. So I have pretty much every other color, just not red. This casting's also been in premium a couple of times. So I do have those guys. He's also been on the Transport Series. 
So looks pretty good. Eco Boost, plastic wing on the back. Very good casting though. The flying buttresses there in the back that the GT is famous for. Uh, another race car. This is the ATS V. Um, I didn't have the red one. So I think this is the first color. Um, either that or it's the recolor of the same year. Obviously, this was a new casting in 2018. But I just didn't have red. Um, this is going to go in the race car display, of course, along with that uh, GT that we just did. Looks pretty good. Has full front tampo, which is basically just the grill because the headlights are part of the window, which is perfectly fine. But there's no tampo in the back. Just tampo on the side. Nice huge metal wing part of the casting. Looks pretty good. Pretty decent. Put him there. Uh, kind of mix this up. This is the brand newest uh, Sirocco GT24. This is from the Volkswagen series. Just hitting Walmart now, at least in my area. It's been hitting other Walmarts. Other times, this is the only one that I want because it's going in the race car display. Don't care for any of the other ones in there. This one looks pretty good. Just got your R on there. 124. Always like this casting. They did a great job. It's got front tampos on it. You know, for the price of this thing, they should have had rear tampos on it too. It's like $2.35 or something like that. A uh, couple more new stuff. Ooh, red editions. Um, I actually did not pull these from the pegs. I got hooked up with a friend with these, but they are hitting my area. This current set of red editions. Uh, my location here never, ever, ever saw the red EK or the Silverado. Uh, but we did get this one, which is perfectly fine because there was two that I wanted out of here, which was one of them was this 935. Looking fantastic to say red on the side. Brand new casting. So we've gotten uh, three versions of this now, maybe four. It's crazy. Not complaining. The more Porsche, the better. That's all I got to say. You can see there's a kind of a theme going on here, huh? Race cars. Uh, and then, of course, this other one from the red edition. This is the Automobili Pinaferini. Um course you know pretty much always going to be uh never completing this because never going to get my hands on the id one the one that's white because that case ids is uh probably one of the most expensive hot wheels things ever because it just never existed there is the back of it looks pretty decent get that to focus a little bit it says red on the back it's pretty good I like the wheels i think the wheels are perfect nice front tampo on it guy is pretty nice uh, a couple more new stuff. This is the new, I don't know what you call this set, but it's at Walmart. Uh, this is the mix on the back. Porsche Panamera, bleh, Porsche Panamera, Lamborghini Istok, Tesla Model 3, the Project 8 Jag, and the CTSV. There's only two I wanted. Pretty sure you can guess at least one of them, which is the Porsche because you just saw it. Uh, but the other one I wanted was the Jaguar. The Jaguar because I love that Project 8 casting. This is so freaking cool. Uh, here is the Panamera, just, uh, you know, Porsche, always got to get all the Porsches, looks decent, looks decent, do get front and rear temples, which is pretty nice, this guy just is super stupid reflective, just reflects everything in that black, looks pretty good though, so throw him down there, and then there is that Project 8 Jag right here, I really, 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 really like this casting, definitely one of my more favorite modern castings from Hot Wheels, looks pretty good. This one in like a dark orange, kind of a burnt orange. It says eight on there on the stripe. Your Jaguar logo on the side, which is infamous for the Project 8. And then full rear tampos looks pretty decent. Like that. Looks pretty good. There is print on the tires too. It's just black. It looks good. Still have kind of the same theme going. Uh, a couple of older ones to fill up some holes. I uh, do collect the Lancia Stratos, so I didn't have the Hot Wheels race version of the Stratos. Just moving through some of these. Looks pretty decent. Just in blue. Kind of put him off to the side. Uh, picked up a couple of these Aristo Rats because... Okay, here's my thing. This is my new thing now, guys. Um, I'm kind of digging the whole, like exposed mechanical look to things now um i there's a couple of guys that roll with some huracans that have these crazy like cages built on the back of them and the, everything's all exposed it looks just super cool um i'm just super into that right now like just 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 it kind of exposed frames and stuff like that so 
I uh, picked these up because I just, you know, that's kind of like my theme right now. Uh, this is the uh, first edition and the recolor. Um, the crappy thing is, is this was actually used in one of the Hot Wheels NFTs. Uh, it looks pretty good, and I think it's actually coming as a physical object, which means I'm never going to get it. Um, picked this guy up because I just thought it kind of looked cool. Uh, this is the uh, fuel up, charge up. This is um, not the same current casting that they have for the drag car, which is the supercharged. It is a different one, but it's kind of kind of a cool looking drag car. Just, just you know, fantasy ish kind of thing. Another old red edition. Well, actually, the first two were not old, but this one's old. Uh, picking up some of these uh, Ram castings that I didn't have. Uh, this is the Skyjacker red edition. Red interior looks pretty good. Um, this one doesn't, doesn't have the top on the back. There is ones that have opening top on the back. Put him in the front. Oh, and look at that. I actually have the normal Skyjacker one that's not the red edition. So this one looks still pretty cool. It's still, I mean, this would still pass as a red edition. Still says Skyjacker and all that stuff. So there's your little duo. Um, and then picked up this one as well in this kind of a uh, dull yellow. Kind of not a good tampo on the front or the top, I should say. But it's all good. This truck is way better when they get some tampos on the front or rear of it. But that one didn't get any. Um, another casting I collect is the DeLorean DMC-12. Um, so found a couple of versions I didn't have. This one is in the silver with the kind of red hashtags. Looks pretty good. Uh, some of these have opening backs. I don't know if this one opens or not. There we go. Does open up. Kind of interesting that it has an opening part. But looks pretty good. Just scooping up those DMCs. Then, of course, this one in red, which is the, I believe this is the same year, these two. They're just alternating colors of each other. So this one should have opening back, which it does. Looks pretty good. So throw in yeah, maybe right there. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got rolling around here. All right, I got, I got a couple of motorcycles. Uh, this is the Ducati Diablo. I think this is what it says. I started to do the Hot Wheels motorcycles just because I think I don't collect them because necessarily I like motorcycles, but I, I'm doing them so I can put them in the race car display because I think it's important to represent the motorcycles. So this is the Ducati, whatever the name is, Diablo or something like that. Uh, this one's you know, pretty wicked. It's got just that exposed tire on the side and details look pretty good. That All that black is metal. Um, and then this gray piece is separate. It's even loose. Just kind of sits in there. And then, of course, the blue is metal as well. And then just all riveted together. So we'll just kind of put him right there. Um, let's see here. I thought I had two of those. Oh, I guess not. Uh, this is the 1098R in black. So I have a couple of these ones. I have the red one, and then I have a white one, um, but I didn't have a black one. So I, now I have a black one. This one looks pretty good. Um, I do remember customizing one of these way back in the day. I customized the red one back in the day when I actually was customizing stuff, which I I don't do anymore, but it was, it was fun then. Um, and then I picked up two of these BMW K1500R motorcycles as well. go uh this one is super hard to see anything because it's all black um, but there is some temple print in there that looks decent um this gray piece is just the tank which is plastic and then the headlights and the uh, handlebars is plastic as well so just i'm not going to try to stand those up because nine times out of ten they don't stand up and then of course i got the one in orange which is a little bit better Tampo wise, I think this helps to see a little bit more of the details. All about them deets. There we go. So throw that guy down there. Now, this is the very last Hot Wheels I got. 
Um, I had a buddy found some boulevards. This is the mix here. Um, he actually found me this and this. Um, I do plan on keeping a Monero, but uh, I actually sent those to my buddy down in Australia for a trade. So um, he picked me up two of these and he picked me up two Mercedes. That's all there was from the case. Somebody had already scooped the drags, the Supras and the Alfa Romeo, which I really, really want that. That's one of my favorite race cars of all time. Uh, but I only got one and I've been really wanting to do a whole video on these, but it's just not going to happen because you just can't find Boulevard ever. Um, it is exclusive to one store here in the U.S. and that store literally never has them ever. So um, we're just going to go ahead and crack open this first one. Since this is the only one that I have, I'm just going to crack this guy open. I don't know what it is about these blisters. This is the Mercedes. Looks super good. I do like this casting a lot. Looks very, very, very nice. I think this one looks really, really good in just silver. Wheel choice is good. AMG banner on the front windshield and the back window. And just says AMG on the back. Some print. I do like this casting because the uh, exhaust is actually part of the interior to give it a nice color break. So this guy looks really, really good. I do like this one a lot. Definitely one of my favorite Mercedes castings for sure. I think Hobbles did a fantastic job with this. It's nice and wide. It's beefy. It's really, really nice. So pretty happy to add that guy, which is pretty good. All right, the very, very last item I have in here is not a Matchbox, not a Hot Wheels, not a Majorette. Mini GT. Uh, this is a standalone model. I already did uh, rip the plastic off because I was super excited to take a look at this guy. Uh, but we will look at him now. This is a special edition of the Porsche Taken Turbo S. There is deets on the back of the box. Did you want to check out some deets? I don't like these boxes uh, just because the way they're shaped, they're very difficult to do anything with. Um, the models do sit in there just flat like this. Little tray. Pop him out. Just look at the ridiculous tampo on this. It's just insane. And the detail on here. I have no idea what this uh, Naya, Na, Naraya is, but uh, it doesn't really matter because this looks ridiculous. I like it. I like it. It's different. You know, it's 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 not something you expect to see on a Porsche, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, yellow mirrors on there, and then there is the deco there up on the hood. Two elephants. Not sure exactly what the significance is, but I'm sure somebody can chime down in the uh, comments and let me know. But very, very happy to add another Mini GT. Um there's just so much stuff coming. Can't wait. Can't wait. So we'll throw this guy back in the box. Pretty stoked about that one. That is number 399. So they're very high up there in the numbers. So here we go. Kind of set him. Um, maybe right there. There we go. All right. So there you go, guys. That is episode 10 of the hull told you it was going to be hot wheels heavy i know it's ridiculous um but i i needed to fill in some holes uh, and get some stuff done up plus there's a couple new releases a couple other things going on there so uh pretty stoked with what i got um just got to find spaces to put all this stuff now so uh let me know what you think about that let me know what you like don't like if you're going to pick something up not pick something up uh let me know what you think about that new monster truck set in the back i don't think that set's as good as the previous one but it's it's okay I think most people are just going to be, you know, wanting to get the Volkswagen. Um, but anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, come back, chill, hang out. More Diecast is always on the way. Appreciate every one of you. Thank you very much. Level him, Diecast. Peace.